Hello and welcome everyone. So today it is another demonstration video and today I'll be demonstrating you about a particular tool that is called Pymol. Okay, so Pymol is one of the shoots from Schrodinger. So Schrodinger is a, a big uh, firm that uh, uh, like develops many uh, drug biology tools. So one of those is your visualization tools. Okay, so there are many visualization tools out there in bioinformatics. Uh, starting from your Pymol, Resmol, Chimera and things like that. So today I'll be demonstrating you how to install Pymol in your system in both uh, your Mac systems uh, and your Windows system. Okay, so obviously uh, all the files are available for your Mac, Windows, Linux and everything so that uh, I can show you. So let's uh, first uh, have the demonstration about the Windows system. Okay. So here we just uh, in the search engine, we will click on Pymol. Okay. So if I click on Pymol, so this particular tab is opening the first result, uh, search result you will be having of Pymol. Okay. So if I click on this, so you will be having the particular website, you will be redirected to the website. And here you can see this is the latest version of Pymol that is 3.0. Okay. So as it is a Windows, I will click on the Windows. Okay, and see it is saying thank you for downloading Pymol. So the download has started. Okay, so uh, once the download is underway, so let uh, let us move on to the Mac system. Okay, and the Mac system will be doing the same thing. Okay, so I have already done that. Okay, so same thing you will type in Pymol. Okay, the same page will open. You just click on Mac OS. Okay, and this particular file will be downloaded like this. Okay. And this will be a .dmg file because uh, Mac supports .dmg disk file. Okay, so if I double click on this, see this particular thing is coming that I can drag and drop it to the application section. Okay, but when I do that, it will give me a warning because I already have it installed. Okay, so see older version is there. So you, if I want to replace it or keep both, so likewise. So I don't want to keep both. So I will stop it over here. Okay. Just for the demonstration sake, I am showing you this. Okay. So now let us move on to the windows. Okay. And let's see if our download is completed. Yes, it is complete. So, okay. So we can double click on that. Okay. So uh, as, uh, uh, as you see that I have double clicked on that and we will go to next. Okay. Agree on the agreements. Then your uh, just for me recommended and uh, so this is the path obviously you can save in this particular uh, name also but uh, it does not take too many characters uh, for the path so that is why i'm just shorting shortening it up okay so yeah next okay i can also do it register pymol with a default python so if i am using a, a id for python like your vs code pycharm uh, jupyter notebook or your spider anything so I can open this particular application from there also for that particular purpose. You can click on this. Okay. So hit the install button. So it will firstly set up the package and then it will set up the environment. Then it will be downloaded. Okay. In the meanwhile, the environment of this particular thing is setting up in your windows system. So we will check on this uh, once this particular installation is done. In the meantime, I can show you the interface, how the Pymol actually looks. Okay. So for that, let's, uh, so it will be same. Okay. So that is why I am demonstrating it in the Mac system. Okay. First thing I can go to uh, download or download any of the file. Let's suppose I want to, what we can visualize any 3D, uh, like uh, of uh, 3D form of your protein, protein ligand interaction. Okay. So many kind of analysis also we can do using Pymol. Okay. So let's go to PDB, uh, sorry, PDB. Okay. So if we go, uh, if we go to PDB, okay, protein data bank. So once we go inside that, so we can download any of the protein for that matter. Okay. Uh, in order to visualize that. So this is, this is one way. Okay. So I will show you two, three ways. So one is your, let's suppose I am going for three C CL pro. Okay that is your main COVID protease. Okay. So if I go to that also called as M pro. Okay. 
so yes so once i move on to this clicking on so this will this all this procedures will be same in the windows system as well okay so just the installation part is somewhat different so that i have already demonstrated okay so if i click on this so i can go to download files and download the pdb format okay so if i download the pdb format see it is downloaded over here okay so i can double click on this okay if i double click on this so it will firstly the pymall will open then i have to uh, again redo it okay again double click and then it will be loaded okay you can see in this particular pymall thing it is loaded okay so now i can maneuver this i can remove the water molecules many things i can do okay uh, in this particular select a chain okay i can select the chain okay and uh, go to all okay remove water so the sideways water will be removed and likewise you can do the cleaning part of it also okay so you want to remove any ligand okay you want to click on this and change its color okay go to spectrum and rainbow any kind of color you can give okay so likewise so this is the uh, how the visualization is done okay apart from that we can also do many kind of analysis like your bond analysis or, or things like that okay so this is this is one way another way is you can go to file and get pdb so you can just uh, type in the pdb accession id okay and hit the download then also the molecule will be downloaded over here okay so let me show you by the example of a, a doc result so i already have a doc result by my side so if i double click on this okay so not in this tab so in another tab let's suppose okay so here you can see this is a doc result and it has open okay so i can select again i can change colors okay i can uh, i can select both of them okay so go to windows again because by default it is always on the residue you go to the chains okay so select this one we can go to select and go for find let's suppose polar contacts within the selection okay likewise so many analysis can be done so uh, today's demonstration is not about the analysis but about the installation part and the ui demonstration so that i have already done okay so coming on to the windows system here you can see it is finished the installation part is finished in our windows system as well so i can go to next hit on the finish okay so i can have a like desktop icon over here also okay that, that i can drag drop okay or here if i type in pymall directly so here already you can see latest one uh, right now we have installed so that is why it is coming so once you click on that okay so it will be opening see this is the same interface you can see okay the same way you can do here also go to files okay and then get pdb okay save session also you can do import any image uh, like export any image like after the analysis if you want to export that particular molecule export molecule is also there okay likewise many things are there in display also you can change the settings okay you can maneuver that particular thing uh, in how many possible ways you can do okay what whatever configuration seems good for you you can take that particular thing save that particular thing okay so cleaning of protein everything that you have to do before your docking studies and all that also you can do over here okay so it is not that only pymall is the tool to for the visualization there are many like i have already mentioned that is your vmd resmol pymall chimera so more or less the installation part is also the same so you just have to directly go to your uh like web browser and type in that particular name and similar things will come up okay so that is all from my side uh, as far as this particular demonstration is concerned so see you on the next one if you have any uh, problem during the installation let me know in the comments below okay so that is all thank you everyone